If you can tell me what sparked the reason for this letter and this petition. Okay, we wanted to respectfully um, advise the Archbishop that uh, the uh, parish of St. Francis uh, is not desirous, desirous of having uh, a new priest assigned to it. We have seen the impact of other parishes where uh, the uh, priest from Neil has been assigned and parishioners have are confused, they go to other places, and uh, seeing that uh, Jotnia has been the caption in Paris since uh, the early 50s, we respectfully requested that it remain the caption parish. Currently, is there a neo-priest there residing? No, there isn't, and, and that is what we wanted to prevent. Were you guys given any indication that a neo-priest was going to be assigned to St. Francis? No, there's no indication, but, you know, they have a seminary here. Enjoy. And they're ordaining priests every year. And uh, we, we just uh, don't want to get in a situation where a neo-priest would be assigned to join them. So how many... One of our wishes are made known to the archbishop. What has been the response, I guess, you've received within the church St. Francis, because it wasn't Mostly, just you, right? I haven't uh, had a negative response. Mm -hmm. It's been a wonderful support. We have the 296 signatures, and, you know, others are coming in, but it's too late because we turned in the uh, petition uh, last Friday. What is the uh, parish population uh, or count at St. Francis? You know, I don't know that. No. I don't know the number. All right. How long have you been going to St. Francis? Uh, since uh, maybe about 10 years now or more. But you were uh, born and raised Catholic? I was born and raised Catholic. Mm -hmm. I came from the state of uh, St. Anthony's Parish in the Queen. What's been happening lately in the Catholic Church? And because you've grown up in the Catholic faith, there obviously seems to be this division that's going on. And so as a Catholic, how does that you feel? Oh, uh, we're saddened by it. And, you know... Uh, my feeling, I mean, my personal feeling is uh, Catholics are free to choose, you know, the, uh, their path to God. Uh, but personally speaking, I, I, I uh, choose to continue to practice what I grew up with. And um, I have no desire of uh, seeking a different way for me. And therefore, you know, I just don't want... Uh, someone trying to bring a different uh, path to God. Uh, we're happy with uh, the captions, and we want to keep uh, St. Francis Parish caption. Mm -hmm. That's our, uh, our whole intent. I have, no, I have no problem with the with the way yes, they practice. I just don't want it being imposed on uh, St. Francis uh, Church in Jordan. Mm -hmm. Have there been um, people imposing the way at the church? No, there, there has been, uh, there are parishes such as Agate, for example, mm -hmm. Barriotta, uh, where else, um, St. Uh, Bernadita in, in Gigo, Santa Rita, that are already, uh, they have uh, priests that are from uh, the way. And, you know, because they have, uh, they have a seminary out here and are ordaining priests every year, uh, I just feel that it's entirely possible that uh, sooner or later they may come into our parish. Mm -hmm. You know, I know that you were at the prayer service, the Building Bridges prayer service at yeah, the steps yes, of the there. cathedral. And, you know, I, I've watched that video over and over, and it was very emotional. Have you heard anything back from the archbishop? No, nothing. Yeah, nothing. nothing at all. I mean, uh, no, I've not heard back. Do you think you'll hear from the Archbishop from this letter? Uh, if he calls me to discuss it, I, uh, I'll be very happy to sit down and, and discuss our feelings, sure. Mm -hmm. Since this letter's been out, what kind of feedback have you got? Maybe not just from people from your parish, but from other parishes? Uh, I just came from a meeting. You know, I, I, I was at Mass when, when you spoke, and... Uh, other parishes are, are wondering what they could do because uh, I've spoken to people in Agate and Santa Rita. 
and in, in fact, uh, and in Chalon Park was also a Neo Parish. And uh, the person was telling me that for Chalon Park, they petitioned the Archbishop to to uh, bring it back to a diocesan. And this was several years ago, and it went nowhere. The request went nowhere, and they they uh, organized a petition and brought it uh, before the Archbishop gave it Nothing became of it. Mm-hmm. So in this case, it was too late. Mm-hmm. Do you feel the Archbishop is trying to impose the way? Uh, I, my feeling is, you know, he he, he has been one sided uh, on this. Uh, issue, and, and uh, I, I know he's actively pushing for, for the way, and uh, I just hope that he will respect the wishes of uh, parishioners. Okay. Is there any final comments you'd like to make? No, I mean, the, you know, the church the church is really uh, divided, uh, seriously divided, and, and I sincerely pray for uh, maybe the Archbishop to consider maybe going back to the parishes that uh, after Neil and, and hearing from the people there uh, what their feelings are. And this is the only way to be able to, to mend and, and, and to uh, come back as, um, as one is find, finding out people from Neil parishes what are their wishes and then respect the wishes of the people from those parishes who have now uh, have new priests for uh, for pastors. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that the removal of Monsignor James is some way connected to the way? You know, I I, I don't have any information on that. Okay. My only feeling is that he was not given the chance to respond to it, and therefore it's wrong to to to, to fire someone without uh, letting him know what the charges are to defend himself. Okay. Yeah, I, I, the reason why I ask that is because when people talk about the way, it's almost as if it's uh, um, they connect it to Monsignor James' uh, removal. So I wasn't sure if it's just two separate issues or it's something in some way connected. So. For us, you know, it's completely. We just we're just uh, advising the Archbishop that we don't want him to respect our wishes. Okay. Is there any final comments you wanted to make? Just, you know, I mean, the, the Catholics are really torn right now. I mean, we're, 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 we're really sad at what's going on. And uh, there's only one person who can, can mend those things, and they say Archbishop. Okay. He, he has to go back, because what, what the wedge has been, the, 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 the new Catholic community away, and uh, he's got to address this problem here. You know, Mr. Snaka, I have tried to get an audience with the Archbishop, and mainly the only sort of reaction I've gotten to requests for interviews and reaction to what's been going on with Monsignor James has been through spokespeople and and emails. And so I'm just wondering, would you like to see him, like, speaking for himself and the silence? This thing has really gotten too far off track. And the only one who can bring, bring it back to track now is the Archbishop and address all the issues personally he did himself because only he could put the church at peace again. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. I understand you're, you're leaving Ireland, so we'll have a safe trip. Have a great trip. weekend. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, bye. bye.